So the next thing I use on my skin, which is not all the Hello? Hi. Hey. my channel thanks so much for tuning in for another video if you're new welcome and don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell beside that subscribe button so that way you'll be alerted of upcoming videos in the future if you have been with me since day one welcome back so for today's video guys I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite skincare products that I have been using for a while they're a staple in my home and these are products that will pretty much always be a staple in my home I use these products consistently for the most part these products have one thing in common and that is dry skin I do suffer with dry skin my face my body um, flaking on my skin especially in the fall or the colder months so I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I have been using that um, I think work for me and again just a disclaimer what works for me may not work for you so I'm just going to show you some things so if you like to see these products just keep watching I hope this video doesn't <laughs> bore you but again if you suffer from dry skin like I do I'm just going to show you some things that I use and maybe it helps so let me go ahead and show that to you guys right now so I'm gonna start with my face and my face wash that I use that I have been using for a while now and there's two different ones for two different reasons so both of these products are from the Garnier skin active line um, I'll start with the green one first so this is the deep pore facial cleanser 90 99% naturally derived ingredients made with green tea made without parabens, dyes, silicones, and sulfates. It's a gel consistency, it's a gel cleanser. Um, it's a cleanser that purifies while removing dirt, oil, and daily buildup. And what I like about this product is it does not dry out my skin. It keeps my skin very moisturized, very hydrated. It just makes my skin feel very nice and it kind of leaves kind of matte look so it doesn't leave a greasy trace um, or residue on your face at all. I would not use this for removing makeup. It's not a really good makeup remover. It's a really great daily facial cleanser. Now the one I would recommend for removing makeup is the uh, Soothing Cleansing Milk. This is made with rose water. It removes makeup and impurities without stripping your skin of its natural moisture barrier. Now the one thing about this product after using it for the first time, I did notice that the consistency, the consistency of it is it is like a milky type consistency. And after washing it off my face or trying to wash it off my face, I felt that there was like a kind of a greasiness that was left on my skin. Um, that's the only thing I don't really like about this product, but it does the job. It gets the makeup off. I guess that greasiness is like a, um, not a oily. It doesn't leave like your, your skin oily, but it just feels like some type of a barrier that's left on your skin. And, um, but it, it leaves it very moisturized. Like, I guess it's like a, some type of moisturizer in here, but I can feel the difference of washing this off of my face than washing the green one off my face. So the next product I got is the Blemish Control Facial Scrub. This is the Afro Apricot Scrub Blemish and Blackhead Control. I have been using this stuff for so long. Whenever my skin is extremely dry and I can feel the dryness and I can see my skin peeling, especially on my nose. My, my nose peels a lot especially in colder um, seasons. So I'll definitely grab this or if I feel like my face is just grimy and dirty and it just needs just to be exfoliated and just get a lot of dead skin off my face, this is what I reach for. It is acne medicated, which is really good. This does help. So when I do have those moments where I do feel like the acne is, you know, a little blemish here and there, uh, which is rare i'll reach for this the next thing i like to use is a toner i am a big fan of toners it definitely helps my skin and i have seen a big difference in my skin since using a toner in particular the dickinson's original witch hazel which is a pore perfecting toner but it's fragrance free um it is very gentle on skin so if you have sensitive skin uh this is a really great product it does not dry your skin out it definitely gets the oil um, off of your skin it leaves a matted look on your skin which is what i really like because my face does get uh, oily in my t-zone 
It balances out the skin, it smooths out your skin. It leaves a conditioning feel on your skin, which I really like. It's really great for your, your pores, of course, and removing excess oil and dirt and makeup residue without over drying. So this is a must have after I wash my face. And even as a standalone, I always use this toner. And this is a 16 ounce fluid bottle. So this goes a long way. Now, when I wanna get a little fancy, I like to break out my mask, whether it be my Dead Sea Mud Mask or just a regular facial mask. But I like to do that when I feel like I want to have that little extra spa moment or just that extra skin treatment. So the first thing I have here, which I have shown in a video before, I actually did a video on it, which is the uh, Pure Body Naturals Dead Sea Mud Mask. Uh, this is a mineral infused, it's mineral infused derived from the Dead Sea for a deeper skin cleanser, pore reducer, and helps unblock your pores. Because a little of this product literally goes a very, very long way. You only use a thin amount of this product on your skin. So that's why it's lasting me so long. So this is kind of where I am with the product. Um, I still got a lot in here, but it is kind of down there. Now with this product, I do have a face brush or mask facial mask brush uh, to you to apply this to my skin so I just dip it in there and then just brush it on like a paintbrush like you're painting and just brush it on your skin and then you leave it on there for about I think it's like 15-20 minutes it removes dead skin cells dirt toxins um, softens your skin it stimulation it stimulates circulation and refined skin texture clarity and tone I also use this when I have um, a very small breakouts and you want to easily and quickly get rid of a breakout and reduce uh, that pimple or that blemish this is what I use like it doesn't take but just a couple days and that baby is just about gone now once I've toned my skin and hydrated my skin and did my little mask I like to start to moisturize and put the moisture and keep that moisture sealed and locked into my skin. So I like to follow it up with the Mario Badescu, Badescu, Badescu. So I have the one that is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is for all skin types. So what I like about this product is I can use it to set my makeup and I can also use it just every day just to rehydrate my skin if my skin feels dry, if it just feels dull and just hot and sticky, whatever. I'll use this, especially in the summer when it feels that way. Um, but it's very hydrating on the skin and just letting it just dry your skin just leaves your skin feeling very conditioned. But once I do my regular routine, I will follow it up after doing the toner I will follow it up with the facial spray and I'll just mist it on my face and once it's dry then I'll follow it up with a moisturizer which brings me to the moisturizer I got the Elf Hydrating Serum this product is designed to strengthen your skin it locks in the moisture it also helps to soothe and protect your skin it has a jojoba oil, aloe, vitamin E, grape and shea butter for ultimate nourishment and all of the Elf skincare products are free from parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Okay, so that's all the facial stuff. So now we're going to go to the body stuff, which is pretty short and sweet. I don't have but two things that I really like to use when it comes to um, hydrating my, my body and, you know, softening my skin and, and exfoliating and things like that. From Dr. Teal. Dr. Teal has like the best products they i mean this is the only type of bath type product shower type product that i will use so i got the dr teals i did a video about this so I'm, you can catch that in the little link above but um dr teals foaming bath and pure epsom salt this is for relaxation and relief so when my skin and my body and my muscles and everything feels dry uh, dry <laughs> And achy I reach for the eucalyptus and spearmint and it relaxes the body the mind it's very soothing on the skin also in your your senses and it, it just has a very calming effect with this product and they have different varieties that you can choose from uh, in the in the dr. Teal line and you've probably seen it at Walmart they have an avocado one um, they have now the black charcoal one and some others, but in lavender, they have a lavender one, but um, the avocado one definitely makes my skin very soft as well. So I really like that. So this is like, uh, 
And the last item that I got, which is new, and I have used this a couple times, I got from Dove, because I'm a big fan of Dove and their products and soaps. I got their new exfoliating body polish. This one is crushed. This one has crushed um, macadamia and rice milk in it. This is what it looks like. And you probably have seen this over in the soap section, in the bath uh, section. My skin peels really bad on my legs and on my arms. So I said, well, let me just give this body uh, polish a try just to see how it does. And y'all, I'm telling you, this is some really, really great stuff. Like if you want to get rid of that ash, and not just for the day, I mean for a couple of days, like a week or so. Like I used this last week and on my arms, on my legs, and I have not had to use, I promise you, I have not had to use any lotion since I use this product. Like my skin is still soft, it's still smooth, no ash, like like it honestly like got everything and then left like a barrier of some type of like a moisture on my skin. But this stuff really did the job. Like it it's it's some really good stuff. Like this scrub, let me show you what it looks like. And it smells so good. And I think there's like three different ones. Not really sure how well you can see that, but you see like little beads. I guess that's supposed to be the crushed uh, macadamia in there. And this is and this is not a hard, uh, harsh scrub at all. It's a very gentle scrub, and you would think that you would have to keep, you know, like rubbing hard just for this product to really uh, get the dead skin off, but you don't. It, it it doesn't take a hard rub to get this to get the dead skin off. So you literally, uh, in the bath or in the shower, just scoop a handful of it. Um, I would not recommend scooping a handful of this stuff because, I mean, ultimately you're going to use a handful anyway, but not at one time because this stuff ain't cheap. <laughs> this is like $6 for this thing. So you use the scoops at a time and it ain't going to last long. So, but a little does go a very long way. And it says I use it three to four times a day. I see you, Dove. I see you. Yes, Dove really did that. But this will definitely be staying right beside my tub, right beside my shower, because it's just that good. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching me share these products that I like to use for my skin, especially during, during the season when it's cold, when it's dry, and the atmosphere, and your skin is just like, sucked up of all the moisture um, that you need. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and the products that I use. You can go check out some of these products. I'll leave them in the link below. I'll try to link everything down um, below where you can check it out or purchase it if you want. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. And I want you to hit that notification bell because I don't want you guys to be in the dark about any videos that I may have posted. I don't want you to get behind if you've been following me. So make sure that you have that bell turned on. Hit that little bell beside the subscribe button. So that way when I publish a video, you'll get automatically alerted and you can enjoy my content. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.